Hi friends, welcome to the part 13 of this tutorial series. In the last video, we saw how we can create categories using Ajax and in this part, we will be seeing how we can display those categories in our create post page. Okay, so if I just go back to the uh, application and go to the admin page, so we have we have created few of these categories. Okay. And now what I, what I want, so when I open the create new post section, I should see a drop down here for the categories as well, maybe just below the status. Okay. So let's open our template here and our create template will be under views, admin, post, create. Okay. So I'll simply copy uh, this code here. Okay. And paste it here. But now we want to first fetch the, the set of categories and send it to the to our view. Okay, and we'll do that in our admin controller. So here, so where we are getting the post and we are sending the post to. No, I believe it's here. So this is the uh, get get method. Okay, so we have to first fetch all the categories and send it to this to this create view okay let's do that I already have the category model imported here so I'll use the find method given to us by mongoose so this will find all the categories and will return a promise so I'm gonna get a set of cat categories which I'm naming as cats okay and once I have that I want to simply send it to my view in, a, in an object and the key will be categories and the value will be cats so that's about it and now let's quickly jump to our create template and this is all very repetitive so I'm not explaining how this function is working because we, we have already seen that in our prior videos okay so I'm gonna change this to category and this to category as well let's copy this paste it here here and where else nope not required all right so i'm going to remove the the last two options and only keep one here and here i'm going to use the for each loop okay so I want to loop through each of the uh, categories and set them as options okay show them as options so again I'll use the each function here the each help a help a function here okay then uh, you know I have to close this uh, I'm gonna name the call the categories uh, object that I'm sending through here okay and I'll cut it from cut the option from here, paste it here. The value will be the name displayed will be my categories dot uh, title. I believe I have the title uh, in my model. Let's quickly check that. So yeah, we have title here. Okay. And in the value, I want to send the ID of the category will be underscore id okay because in mongoose as we as you know here we have this underscore id attribute or key you can say okay let's save this and jump back to our uh, create view and refresh the page and see what happens perfect so we now have a drop down with all the categories populated from here but now we want to hook up the logic to uh, properly capture the category should select it from this drop down and save it in the post uh, object okay so let's quickly jump back to our uh, admin controller and make sure you change all these names IDs to match uh, with this new category section okay otherwise you will have error so now we are when we are submitting posts okay so the category I want to have a new category section here okay and this will be request dot body dot 
category and this comes from this name attribute okay so it will have the id of your category because we are sending the uh, the id in the value and of in the if you see the post model for categories i'm expecting an object id of type category here okay all right save this and I think that should be all if I go back the browser refresh it enter the title how many let, let's see how many posts we have we have second post okay that does not have any category as of now okay and to display uh, in text uh, where, where am I displaying those categories it's here I believe post index yeah so here I'll put another uh, column I'll say category and uh, it's just below the comments it will have category okay so, so now you'll see how it behaves and you will notice something strange here in a moment okay so it's empty for this particular post and if I create a new post now third post public let's say it's uh, node.js allow comments yes this is the third post with category selected create post okay so now you see something strange here what we see is an object id we don't see the category name right because if you go back to the database and refresh so this post has a category but is referenced using the object id so how do we populate the name from this object id it's pretty simple so mongols gives us a pretty neat function here so for that we have to go to the admin controller and to the get post method where we are setting the posts so before calling the then function okay what we want we want to populate Populate what? We want to populate category, right? That's it. That's about it. And if you go back, refresh the page, so you see this object, right? And we want to only uh, look for the th this title attribute. So here, in our index view, we go back quickly. So instead of category, because this is an object, I want to target the title attribute so now save it refresh boom we have category here okay now there is one small problem because if you go to the edit post and you don't have first of all we don't have any category section here let's quickly do that uh, I'm gonna co uh, copy this section and uh, paste it here okay and of course it's blank because we're not sending anything to the view okay so we'll see the next in the next video how we can uh, populate the list of categories in the edit uh, view as well as uh, keep the current category selected which was chosen at the time of post creation so for example if we edit the third post we should see the node.js category by default here okay so we will see that in the next video until then stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe comment and like this video thank you and have a wonderful day bye bye